and uh, proud to be representing this beautiful 1975 Kawasaki H2500. And I think Mama told you not to ride your two-stroke indoors because it gets a little smoky in here. <laughs> I'm gonna open a couple windows. Uh, a little too cold out today. It's about 19 degrees here in Connecticut today. Freezing cold outside, so I thought I'd just demonstrate the bike inside. We've just gone through the bike. We put uh, quite a bit of time and money into it. Um, let me give you a rundown of everything we've done to it so far. Um, let's see. To start with, the previous owner of the bike had rebuilt the engine uh, and had less than 100 miles on the new top end when we purchased the bike. So we confirmed that by pulling the plugs and the carbs off and looking at the pistons and everything's brand new on the top end. Um, the bike was stripped right down to the front of the tank, the seat, side panels, uh, exhaust system, the uh, complete brake system, everything was taken off the bike. And the rest of the bike was, all the chrome and aluminum was bicarbonate sodium blasted, cleaned up, washed, waxed, polished, and uh, detailed to a pretty high degree. Um, the uh, fuel tank, the uh, um, fuel petcock, the carburetor system, the entire fuel system was completely rebuilt. The tank is like brand new. If you look inside this gas tank, um, it looks like a brand new gas tank. There's absolutely no rust in there whatsoever. That was professionally cleaned and it has a brand new OEM gas cap and uh, uh, gasket. So the um, fuel pickup is also brand new as are the fuel lines. The carbs are completely rebuilt with new k and style air filters. So, and then the cars were synchronized. The cables were lubed and adjusted. So the complete fuel system is like brand new. The oil tank was cleaned, drained, uh, reinstalled. The oil injector was adjusted. Brand new spark plugs were installed. Um, they did a compression test on it. When they first started, the compression test is perfect in all the cylinders. Uh, checked the spark, um, installed a brand new battery, and went to an entire wiring system. All the wiring connections were uh, taken apart and reconnected and cleaned. Um, the, like I mentioned earlier, the oil injection tank was uh, taken up, taken up uh, uh, off and clean. Brand new oil lines, in clamps, brand new oil. Um, it's got brand new OEM style grips on there. Um, the braking system was completely taken off the bike. The master cylinder was uh, rebuilt with a new master cylinder assembly, uh, a new brake caliper, new brake line, and the, the brake calipers were rebuilt uh, with a caliper seal kit and pistons and brand new brake pads on the front. Um, and then it was put back together, everything was adjusted and bled. Uh, it's got new mirrors on it. The, um, again, the battery's brand new. Uh, we replaced the battery to frame ground wires, cleaned all the ground uh, terminals and any contacts to the frame. We disconnected all the electrical connectors to clean corrosion and any um, uh, bad connections were, were repaired or replaced or greased with uh, electrical grease. Um, the ignition assembly was removed, disassembled, cleaned, and reassembled. The switch assembly was taken apart, cleaned, and reassembled. And they disassembled the left switch assembly to clean the contacts for the horn and the headlamp high-low. Uh, the headlamp was removed, uh, the wiring, was, and that was all gone through. And all the terminals inside the headlamp were cleaned and uh, reconnected. And two new indicator bulbs were installed inside here, so all the bulbs for the dash are new. The bike only has 8,921 miles. These are highly collect collectible uh, H1 Mach 3. This has the, the capacitor discharge ignition. Um, brand new spark plugs were installed. Uh, the um, coils were tested. The primary and secondary resistance was 100%. Uh, replaced all three spark plug caps and the coil high tension leads. Um, again, the throttle cables were cleaned, inspected, lubricated, and so forth. Uh, and the carbs were completely gone through. The idle adjustment and air screws were adjusted. The carbs were synchronized. Um, the, the new oil filters were installed on there. So that pretty much covers all that. Um, adjusted the clutch cable, looped it, clean, looped, and adjusted the drive chain. Adjusted the rear brake pedal. Uh, tires are in excellent condition. Um, check the tire pressure, check the charging system, and test road it to make sure everything was okay. Um, so that's what we did to the bike. Uh, there was 38 and a half hours of labor into the bike, including some paint work that we did to the uh, tailpiece and the side covers. These are repainted. Uh, the, the gas tank is original Kawasaki paint. Um, it's uh, called a candy red. 
So, <clears throat> really rare piece, uh, highly collectible, highly sought after. Uh, we, we just sold one of these a few months ago that went overseas to the UK. I'm not sure where this one's going to end up, but hopefully some will have a lot of fun with this because these things are absolute rocket ships. This one's got some cool custom touches on it. Um, it's got the chrome um, steering stabilizer. It has the uh, uh, chrome cover on the oil injection lube. It has a chrome cap on the oil uh, um, site. The, the Kickstarter was chromed. The rear brake lever was chromed. Um, the rear brake lever piece lever was chromed. Uh, that was all done by the previous owner. It's got chrome uh, Kawasaki foot pegs, uh, chrome cover on the Kawasaki uh, engine, chrome uh, counter shaft sprocket cover, um, chrome the bolts on the head when the, when the engine was rebuilt, those were sent out and chromed. So it's got a lot of cool chrome custom pieces. Kind of a nice resto mod was done to it. Um, so the H1500 was one of the best models in the two-stroke collection, the three-cylinder uh, two-strokes that Kawasaki made. Super fast and has a classic two-stroke engine sound. And this bike is gorgeous. It's a real looker. Gorgeous paint job. Uh, original, original 19, I think 70, uh, 74 Kawasaki tank. And uh, you know, this tank's what, uh, almost 50 years old. And to have that kind of shine on it, it's really rare. Original paint. Uh, to my knowledge, for, uh, for that 74 year. Um, the NADA number one value on this bike is $9,135. Uh, we just invested, I got to double check the work order, I think we put around $5,920 into the bike for the work that we've done to it. So we invested probably a lot more than we wanted to, but uh, you know, once you get going on these things, it adds up, and uh, we've done quite a bit of work for it. So um, it's been through a full 100 point inspection. Uh, we did note a couple things. It, it doesn't have the original shifter on it. It's something I, I would suggest doing is putting an original shifter on it because this is an aftermarket custom one with a chrome setup on it and it would shift a lot better with a new uh, Kawasaki or a, a used Kawasaki shifting assembly. That's one thing I would change on it. Um, again, the tires, front tires, 95% uh, tread. Rear tire, 95% tread. These are both new tires with maybe 100 miles on them. The engine's uh, top end's brand new, and it's a unique Kawasaki triple engine. So uh, the Mach 3 was an extremely successful motorcycle for its time, and it is highly collectible. Um, its speed is what attracted most owners. It has a standing quarter mile run of under uh, 13 seconds in the high 12s, and a top speed of 115 miles per hour, and its power to weight ratio, which is 1.6 which uh, is one horsepower for every six pounds, according to the May edition of Motorcyclist magazine. Uh, they call the Mach 1's hard weight ratio the best ever produced on a motorcycle and to sell to anyone who has the money to purchase it. So the H1 500 Mach 3, a rare piece, 60 horsepower, five-speed transmission, two-stroke, uh, single front disc brake, drum in the rear, uh, th three in the three factory Kawasaki exhaust system. So. Um, Really cool bike, really rare piece. We've done a lot of work to it. If you want to take it to the next level and do a couple of the finishing touches yourself, like the shifter, maybe some pegs, whatever you want to do, um, it's all there. The original saddle is uh, intact in pretty decent shape for a 40 year old, almost 50 year old saddle. So if you want to come take a look at the bike, feel free, come on down. Uh, if you want to have any questions, call us 860-454-7024. Um, the serial number is H1F46425, and uh, the serial number on the engine is 116366. So, uh, just a great bike. You see the exhaust system is the original Kawasaki triple exhaust system. It's not rusted out anywhere. Has a little uh, blemish on the bottom here from rubbing, but um, in excellent condition for its age, and as you can see, the things that head turner so beautiful bike wish we could keep it for the museum collection but we're selling it to raise funds uh, we have about 70 vintage bikes we're going to be auctioning off some of them running some of them not running some of them we did a lot of work too like with this one and some we're selling as is so this one's a fantastic bike and uh we do, do put, put a, quite a bit of effort into it so good luck bidding on the bike god bless america